throwing a game, taking a dive, and fixing the fight. These are all terms meaning the same thing when an athlete loses on purpose. No, I don't think it even hit him. The reasons why can vary, but the main motivation, money. Betting odds get a lot better when you know the outcome. This is a list of fights that have stirred controversy in their legitimacy and what some might call fixed fights in MMA. In 2010, Russian fighter Alexander Emelianenko took on Eddie Bankson from Sweden. The fight took place in Emelianenko's home country of Russia, and the crowd was expecting fireworks. But 40 seconds into the fight, Benson went down from an apparent jab. But after watching it in slow motion, it looks as if the jab never touched him. The crowd, as well as Emelianenko himself, looked disappointed and confused at the outcome. Bankson awoke minutes later in a showing that would put professional soccer players to shame. <laughs> he showed no bleeding or redness on his face and eyes and had seemingly no injuries at all. Bankson retired in 2012. And Emelianenko is currently serving four years in prison for sexually assaulting his housekeeper and last fought in 2014, losing after tapping out to strikes. <laughs> Shadiness is a thing that always seems to follow Kimbo's slice around. Kimbo, who has recently come under scrutiny after beating Ken Shamrock at Bellator 138, was criticized for his performance. Many fans and fighters, including UFC commentator Joe Rogan, thought the fight looked fake. That fight looked fake as fuck. That's what I was going to think. I, I, literally, that's what I, I thought. There's a couple things I don't like about that fight. Critics point out that Kimbo and Ken were talking for the first minute of the fight and how Kimbo just seemed to fall over after a takedown attempt. Shamrock seemed to be in complete control of the fight, but threw no punches and eventually lost position and was quickly dropped, then turned away waiting for the referee to stop the fight. The shadiness also found its way to Kimbo's boxing career after he knocked out Brian Green in 2012. With 15 seconds left in the round, Green casually dropped his guard as Kimbo charged in, getting hit and comically flopped to the mat. In the fifth, your ass goes down. Even a former UFC fighter stated it was the worst acting I've seen outside of a Shaquille O'Neal movie. That's not a wish, that's an insult. In 2008, Kimbo came under more fire when his opponent Seth Petruzzelli admitted that he was paid to keep the fight standing and not attempt to take Kimbo to the ground. The elite XC promoters denied the claim, but quickly closed the organization afterwards and later went on to promote Kimbo's boxing matches. Bob Sapp is a former kickboxer and actor who has starred in the films Conan the Barbarian and The Longest Yard. I love little Michael. But now it looks like Sapp's acting career has extended into his MMA career. He's lost his last 12 fights in a row, with every loss looking almost identical. Bob Sapp's opponent will throw a weak punch that sends the 300-pound behemoth into the fetal position, tapping out to strike shortly after. Nose. Sap's fights aren't fixed in the traditional sense, where a fighter is paid to lose. Sap instead loses on his own volition, in the quickest and least painful way possible by curling up into a ball until the referee stops the fight. He's tapping. He just tapped. Did he tap? Would do something better than sort of One cheat thing. the sport and, and, and throw these fights. That's what I, I, I yeah. I'm disappointed One as thing. a guy who used to watch you oh, as absolutely. a kid. And you know what? And I believe that disappointment is something that you can grow to live with. Sap has stated when questioned about throwing fights, I will not receive bodily damage for a small paycheck. I don't want to play no more. In an effort to revive Japanese MMA, Ryzen, a new MMA promotion, held its first event on New Year's Eve, featuring Shinya Aoki versus Kazushi Sakuraba and Bob Sapp fighting a sumo wrestler with boxing gloves. Before the freak show fights, Satoshi Ishii took on Yuri Prochaska. The end of the fight spurred discussion about a possible fix after Prochaska dropped Ishii with a kick to the head. But after watching the slow motion replay, fans took to Twitter and Reddit claiming Ishii took a dive. The kick seemed to only graze Ishii's bicep with the toes. Whether or not Ishii took the dive didn't matter to his opponent as he finished the Japanese fighter with multiple knee strikes. 
Ishii won the gold medal in judo at the 2008 Summer Games and has fought the likes of Fedor Emelianenko, Tim Sylvia, and Mirko Krokop. The accumulation of punches and kicks he's taken in past fights could also explain the effectiveness of the so-called phantom kick. Mark Coleman versus Nobuhiko Takata is one of the best examples of a fixed fight. What is she doing? He goes into the guard of Takata. Why did he go for this? He should just pass the guard right here. Jesus. He's uh, almost punching to the thigh of Takata. Coleman himself has even admitted as much when asked about the fight, stating, they guaranteed me another fight after that. I'm gonna leave it at that. Coleman got caught in a heel lock in the second round and did his best pro wrestling act. Oh, no, 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 Coleman's gotta pull, he's gotta get out. He's gotta get out of this. Oh, no, no, no. Ankle lock submission! Oh, it's, wow. They're screaming at him to tap, tap, tap. Oh, no. Fans and fighters almost unanimously agree this fight was fake, but it still remains on both fighters' official records. Takata comes from a pro wrestling background and hasn't fought since 2002. Lord, I know that my fight, my fight is fixed. I may have to cry sometime. Shake somebody's hand and tell them, Lord, I know. Touch them and tell them, Lord, I know. Got to hold on because I know it may seem like you're going down. But I come to tell you, it's just a matter of time for God bring you back up. So tell them you all to know, fight and feel. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.